Oh, and the story around Vancouver, well, twofold, um, threefold, really. The win, uh, the third line, and Phil the Thrill in <laughs> Abbotsford. Your thoughts on the uh, on the Vancouver Canucks playing footsies with Phil Kessel right now? I mean, Rick Toggett is the Phil Kessel whisperer, right? So it makes sense if he's going to go anywhere, yeah. it's it's there. He maximized him in Arizona, in, in Pittsburgh. But, I mean, listen... It's all fun. You know, the Phil Kessel talk is storyline. It's all fun to see Phil Kessel back in the league. He's someone I think has different levels of appreciation league-wide. But is he really the fix they need? Probably not. Um, you look at it last year, he was in Vegas, and he didn't play much through the entire postseason. You know, he was a player they pulled out of the lineup nope. and then had a lot of success. Uh, he has strengths to his game. His shot is one of them but he has a lot of defensive flaws. I don't know if you want to bring that into the fold of Vancouver and you have to question where does it fit? Because to me, I, I look at Phil Kessel and how most teams build their fourth lines. Um, and, you know, I don't think every team should have to build their lineup the same way, but typically that's not the fourth line guy mm -hmm. because of those defensive woes. And you have to think, would he be in a position to succeed offensively and play to his strengths if he was in that capacity? You don't want to mess with that third line because they're clicking so well. And obviously things can change down, yep. you know, as the year progresses. But right now it's been, you know, a level of sustained success. You just bumped up your top six by adding Elias Lindholm. I don't know if this is the move I make. If you have him in the AHL and have him as a potential call up, that's for the best, right? Let him play top minutes in the AHL. I don't know if that's what he'd want to do, though. I don't know if that's how they'd use yeah. him. That would be my vibe on what you should do. Have him as a black ace for the playoffs. And you have an extra scoring threat if you need him. And you have someone available if someone gets injured or you just feel like you need to switch things up, which is never bad to have. But my focus would be probably on a right-handed defenseman more than anything if I'm Vancouver. And that's what their eyes on. I just look at the Kessel situation and say, it's a low cost. Let's have a look and see if there's anything there. Like the one thing that I think every single team needs, I was saying this on, on Halford and Bruff this morning. Um, I think every team needs someone that can score easy goals. Like you mentioned the shot. Like when you get into situations and you'll see this in the playoffs where there's going to be games or maybe an entire series where you have to grind for every single goal. It is so exhausting when you finally score. It's like, oh, okay, there's one. Now we got to try to get two. We've all seen games like this. The thing about Kessel is when he's on, to your point, with that shot, and we'll see if the legs can get him in position to get that shot off, he scores easy goals. And you go up and down the bench when someone can snap home a couple of easy goals, so much of the pressure leaves your team.